Welcome back. Happy nah. New Year's. It has been a while. What's it, what's it like? Two years now? Nah. Two years. Two solid stinking ass years Double when I've been gone. Years. Good God. Like, what? What up? Oh, by the way, welcome back to Drum Dummy Podcast. I'm yeah. T-Rapper Drum Dummy. I am Shamu with Drum Dummy. Just, I'm sorry, I'm just overwhelmed at the fact, like, before we started shooting, we went to talking, like, it, it, we just figured out it's been two years since we've even done this. I think the last one was, like, the Christmas uh, episode of 2016. 2016. The kids been busy off in here, man. Like, like what's, what's some of the stuff? That, I won't even go into 17, because... 17 was 2000, just... 2018, we've done lived, like, four years worth of... Shit yeah. in one year. So give a few examples, man. Like what's what's something been tied up? You know, stuff just done happened. 2018, we had we got an interview with the fader, my mixtapes, we got the first chain in, okay. more on the way. We did uh we collaborated with TI. Um the podcast is being shot right now in a new home. I'm saying that like was a, able to be purchased by the grace of God and the grace of Drum Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, like we done did a lot and Shamu, y'all know from the previous podcast we used to always be talking about his YouTube run and stuff. Like he done turned up Instagram though, so figured I mean, thing. I, I mean, I really got like no oh, yeah. more on that, but this this is the the most important thing. Yeah. The, the biggest thank you we can give to anybody. This this beautiful, beautiful to everybody movie. watching. Appreciate it. Hundred thousand. We topped that in 2018. Y'all would be fucking best. Yeah, I love sure. y'all. Even though y'all got on the my mixtape interview and said that my beard separate when I talk and shit, it's, that's true. But you know, sometimes you don't just don't need to point out stuff. It's true because it hurt my feelings. It ain't hurt my feelings. <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, yeah, man, it's a bit. It's a been a wild ass year. Placements, all that stuff. Y'all yeah, placements the, definitely. Traveling too. New York. Went to New York. Yeah. Went to Miami. Went to. Well, we was down there in Orlando for y'all, for TJ Freak and Sam Rock. Yeah. We was in, damn, 2018 so much. I know I hit, uh, we, we hit South Carolina. Uh, you know, shout out to TJ back behind the camera right now. But, uh, I mean, we hit South Carolina. That, that was fun. That was, uh, I, I want to go back sometime soon. I didn't think South Carolina was going to be that fun. Nothing against anybody in South Carolina. Just, I don't ever really hear about a lot happening up there. Like, nothing really pop. Shit, that was one of the most fun states I've never been to. Like, what's what's the most fun spot you've been to this year? Uh, I would have said New York, but once New York got cold, I was kind of over that shit. <laughs> so, um, let me see. Me and Mook had fun in the snow. I don't know what the hell you talking. <laughs> shit, we Man, we built it. We built I think it. Orlando was the funnest for me. Orlando. Yeah. Orlando. Maybe Miami the second time around. Yeah, man. It was all right. Miami man. was. You know, when we go places, we be on business so much. That Orlando trip, I wasn't, yeah, I didn't man. have to do nothing but yeah. sit back. So, the Orlando trip was kind of, that shit was dope. But, um, oh yeah, we also got new producers added to the count. We got Ruel. We Ruel added Mo. Playing. And we added Mo DJ Chocolat. Shout out Chocolat, I see you, boy. Yes, sir. So, yeah. <laughs> we got a whole squad now, most definitely. So, what are we talking about today? What are we getting into? Man, what we want to go is, uh, you know, since, you know, I actually started picking up a little bit of money, uh, you know, you've been making money, like, just as far as some of the producers coming in and whatnot, you know, but what do you think some of the the best ways a producer can actually make money going into 2018? Oh, before we even get into the 2019. 19. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it, dog. We we fresh. It's what? Four days in? Four days in. I should have been used to it by now. I'm I'm fucking up. But, (laughs) um... Before we even get into the money, like, just how would you even break into it now? Like, with the whole game being so saturated at this point? The best way somebody could actually break in is, like, man, you. I say this on every podcast, interview, whatever I go to. You got to have your own something, like, own type of sound. Something in that sound. To, if you copying a fucking drum diamond type beat or a cash money AP type beat or a man, whatever you're doing... You still gotta have something that stand out and make it your own for who, you to. Who was that cat that we found? Uh, what is it? Uh, Mike. Mike made it. Mike. Mike made eight oh eight. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was the one who started doing the drum dummy type beats. And he was actually dope with this shit. Yeah, so like, and he was still adding his own sauce. So I mean, like, that's the reason. Like when people DM me and how can I make it into the game and all that kind of stuff, I'd be like, dog. 
when I go listen to your beats, if they don't, if that, if it's the same as that thing that everybody doing, you haven't found the lane that's open for you to take. It's gonna be hard for you to get in, especially because you know how saturated it is. And yeah. Everybody find that one door that open, and then everybody try to cram through it. And once you start trying to cram through this little tight door, you know, only so many people can fit. Then everybody start fighting outside the door. Yeah. When all you gotta do is go in one at a time with your own shit. So. I mean, even if uh. Well, I think you're the nail on here, just saying you gotta have your own kind of like, just your own feeling into it. I know it sounds crazy, like it sounds simple, and it sounds crazy to people. Like, what do you mean you gotta have your own sound? It means exactly what I'm saying. Like, and they don't think it's true. You really got to have something you can call your own for somebody to start fucking with you. I mean, even with it, like with us being in the same camp, like I mean. Mine and your young boy beats gonna sound mm-hmm. real different. Like them, them thing, them bitches gonna have two different kind of. The beats real well give me the upload as NBA young boy, uh, young boy type beats sound hey, different hey, than mine. Very different. The Mook. ones Mook do. Hell yeah. Cause we all from different places. What Ruel from Detroit, Mook from Florida, we from Georgia. So all of our young boy beats that we do, oh, if we all did the same little baby beats, they'll sound totally different. Uh, whatever we do is gonna sound totally different. Um. Still on the same page, but totally different. Yeah. Just because we come from different eras. So so that's that's saying, like, you know, just don't make it to where it's like, oh, shit, I got to find, like, this this one. Like, I, I got to really stress myself out to find a beat nobody else is making and, and whatever else. A lot of times, that, that should have happened. Like, I feel like that will happen natural. Like, that, mm-hmm. you just do what you do. Like, I think I was, I was listening to Ari, like, Ariana Grande, matter of fact. I was one of her um, interviews, she was talking about how she used to mimic of course, Mariah Carey. I think we all knew that, but like she would mimic her and a couple other people, and through like mimicking them growing up singing, it taught her how to be better, but also helped her find her own sound. Yeah, and that's shit. That's actually how you came up with. Yeah, you know what you got. Really, that's kind of how beats. everybody came up. And then, like, I mean, you take artists like Future, Rich Homie, when they first came out. We were all saying they sounded like so much. Now they don't sound shit alike. Not really. I mean, well, yeah. They did. Even, no, even if you go back to their old music, they now did. in hindsight, go back to their old music and listen to it. It definitely, and it don't, definitely don't sound nothing alike. Nah, like, I mean, it's just one one. They, they it was, it was a style of music that was happening at the time, that's, and that's why everybody like it, what it was was somebody was doing the same style as what Future was. That's what I'm saying about so, if we doing the same style, Young Boy beats, you might think they sound similar to, from the jump, but once you look back at it. If you can't look back at it and be like, oh, I did, I definitely did have my own lane with it, then we're going to know what you were really about. Like, if you look back at the Future and Rich Homie situation, nobody was copying nobody because they both sounded totally different. What was that? That was uh, 2012, 2011, 2012. No, it couldn't be 2012 when uh, Homie came out. What's 2012? Yeah. Because we uh, graduate, uh yeah, what well, about 2012, 2013, something like that. Damn, I'm old. It's Not to get all type of, but he had, yeah. a, he had a crazy <laughs> run. I, I feel like he could have done so much more if he wanted to do that rich game situation. Uh, he he could have played off of it better, I think. Like, I mean, yeah, he, oh, I, I think, just I think saying young that, yeah. took advantage of it like the, the way that he was supposed to. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it worked for him, but... I mean, uh, just... Shit, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't, I can't make a goddamn thought on that one. The uh, the poor motherfucker just did, it didn't work for him, man. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, on, on from the rich homie situation, so, so I don't, you know, keep talking about that and ruin any chances of ever working with dog because I did fuck with his music. I still do, actually. Yeah. But uh, you know, what's uh, some of the ways you think somebody could break in via social media or something like that, like? Uh, I don't know what you think. I mean, just you know, mentioning earlier, like how, because we we had tried to work me into YouTube the same way that you know YouTube broke for you, and YouTube never did really break for me the, the same way. Like I'm still kind of stagnant on it. Not not for real. I mean, I, I do kind of, I do still kind of got work on it, and whatnot, but. <sighs> It wasn't until Instagram started popping for me that, that, you know, that really started working. Like, I feel like, yeah, if you you got to take whatever 
Like, take whatever the defense give you. I, I hate to make the football and the <laughs> sports analogy, but That's I fine. mean, like, you got to take whatever it throw at you. Like, if if YouTube not working, go to Instagram. If Instagram not working, well, see, go thing, to Facebook. Well, what it happened with me and Instagram, like, it, and see, I, I ain't even really got the numbers on that, you know, going into numbers and whatnot, just to touch on that quick. Um, a lot of times, like, numbers do matter, but I, I feel like a lot of people focus so much on numbers and shit like likes, followers, and whatnot. Like, they'll end up losing out on money because they're so worried about the likes yeah. and the followers instead of just being a fucking salesman. Like, at the end of the day, like, if, you, if you're a producer and you got beats, you're really trying to sell your shit. Mm -hmm. If you ain't got a lot of followers and shit, that can work in your favor because a lot of damn rappers and people that, you know, go for I'm beats. I'm going to be honest, that, that like, they'll, they'll think people don't understand. Like, a secret. Yeah. People love for you to be exclusive to them yeah. or to a certain... You know what I'm saying? Certain tribe of people, like, they don't want too many people to know about you. I know there's people out there that's watching this that probably don't fuck with Drum Diamond no more. Who started fucking with Drum Diamond. Because of the but numbers. Because of the number. Oh, he too big? Now nah, I'm not going to and get that's, a that's so I'm whack. Not cause on like, no more. Man, like, why? I don't know. It's almost like, you know, when you go commercial, it just, it be over. But yeah, it, we ain't even really commercial. We ain't though, commercial, like. but I'm just saying, like, I mean, we got once you in the lose, industry. once you lose being, once you lose being something that people can put other claim, people like, on. Oh, yeah. I, found, I found that. Once you lose, like, once people can't claim you no more. I mean, but you still can. It's like, like, oh, I, I, I was messing with them so before they was cool. Like, you got people who do that. Well, they, they claim that. Don't just. I mean, what? I mean, hell, it's, it's America, dog. Well, you know, wherever you're from, shit, you're free to do what you want. Yeah, man. people you, definitely you, turn against. Uh, if you want to hate drum dummy because, you know, we got numbers and shit now, that's fine. Not um, only drum dummy, it's. But anybody, anybody for that come nature. Up. I think the same shit happened to Cash Money AP. Then some of his numbers start dropping after he Every, got real popular. Everybody, it's going to happen because they're going to just be like, oh, it's 20 rappers from my city who got that same beat. But, no, nah, what, uh. Either way, going back to the Instagram thing, um, the, the way that even happened for me, like, it, it wasn't something I went back and just and tried. Like, it wasn't even a, a force type deal. Like, I was really trying with, like, uh, with YouTube. And, yeah. you know, at the same time, like, I got I got three things of social media I do. Like, th there's nobody that, that does any kind of entrepreneur type deal that, that only has just one form of social media. And if they only work on one form of social media, I'm jealous of you. But... <laughs> Like usually everybody's got like I'm kind of I'm kind of working towards one. I deactivated one. my Facebook. Yeah, I'm finna get off Snapchat because Snapchat really don't do nothing. Like I, I downloaded that. I don't know. I ain't talking about shit. My, like I just so like, I like Instagram know. really be all really be all you need unless you, unless you just got people just now don't get me wrong because I do got a lot of business on Facebook but. I think I lose a lot too because I can't respond that to everybody. Yeah. So I'm just trying to get on one thing where I can, where people can reach me at, and at least be like, okay, I can get him on this. You know, like it's cool to have your work spread out everywhere and where people can hit you up everywhere, but at the same time, well, I mean, that's that's once you get to a certain point. Now, like as far as somebody breaking into it or whatever, like it's it's a little bit better to have. And then to be honest, you can build a you can build a following quicker with one form of social media than giving everybody. 50 options to follow you on. Like, if they can only catch you on Instagram, imagine how many followers you're going to have on Instagram. I mean, that, yeah, that's true. When they ain't got to worry about trying to go add you on all this other shit. I mean, I think, I think yeah, that, that is true. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I think, like, YouTube work a little bit different, though, because, I mean, that's not really a, a form of... Not YouTube. I, I, that's not but a form between of social Facebook, media, like, with... Between like, Facebook, yeah. Instagram, and Snapchat. I see, my Facebook... And that's Twitter. More, my, my Facebook more like a personal type thing, you know. Like, that's, that's what mine was for, and I got off of it because... Social media, we gotta be careful, like how we use that shit. You can't just, you know, you can't just be on social media all fucking day and, like, my personal life, my personal life already. Yeah. And to be personal on social media, it's just like overwhelming. So my goal for 2019 was to be like, let's keep it separate, like, so you can actually enjoy what the fuck you do and still keep balance with the shit. Yeah. Because I mean, like, it's all good to have a personal page and all that, but that's... I about to say, but on, on, that, on that same note, though, like, I mean, well, I guess with, like, uh, with Instagrams and, and shit like that, one of the things that we had talked about before was, you know, one thing that did kind of drive sales and make people want to fuck with you a little bit more was showing that you wasn't just a robot that only put your beats and this and that out. Like, look, shit, I'm out here chilling with... Homies, hell, I'm on the beach. I'm, I'm doing this, you know. 
uh, just what just doing regular the human shit. Thing about you know how I get I'm the most contradicting person when it comes to business. Cause every day it changes. Yeah. Every year it changes. Every month this shit changes. And it ain't. I don't. I don't even think it's me being contradicting. I think it's the game being contradicting. YouTube will go from this algorithm to the next. Facts. So it ain't us who being contradicting. It's them. We got to change with them. We could be thinking this one way, then the next thing you know, we got to change how we think based off of how they just changed the game up on us. So, I mean, like, oh. yeah, we, we don't look like, I get what you're saying about the robot shit, because I, I used to be on that same tip. But also, like, with Instagram, I think I can still show that I'm not a robot. I can show you parts of what I'm doing, but uh, me personally with Facebook, I just thought it would, and Snapchat, I just think it like, too in real time to just let you see what I'm doing and it yeah. and it kind of killed the mystique of what you got going on. Yeah, not and not to mention like I mean, with, once you get to a certain level of shit, and I mean I mean I done said that a couple times, you know, during the podcast. Now that's not to beat your head up or nothing, but I mean just the shit, and not to contradict myself on the numbers and shit. But I mean, fuck, look at your numbers and shit. Like at this point, like at, at some point, the personal life shit got to get cut the fuck out. Cause those motherfuckers that be watching and you know they they on some other shit. Yeah. Like especially around Kill Umbus. Like fuck Definitely that. that. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, like that's another reason. It, they don't know well, all my Instagram followers know my truck had got broken too, and you know, just making sure everything locked in a little bit more and you know. When I do personal stuff, don't nobody need to know where I'm at like that. If I wanna post a picture after I leave or something like that, that's cool. But I'm just playing the game smarter, not harder. So you know, yeah. like so, I mean, just, just to, at the end of, you think, like, um, you know, for somebody breaking in as a producer, um, would they need to just focus on one platform or, you know, try to have a, a YouTube and an Instagram? Because for, for me, I think it, it probably, like, because what worked for me anyway was I was trying to. Well, I wasn't really trying to. Instagram was just something I did because I had it. And I, hell, I, I like fucking with Instagram. So, YouTube and Instagram were the two things I had and the Facebook was more of the personal profile. Mm -hmm. So you think it, it'd be like wise for them to have to like say you selling beats and shit, especially if you're doing them online, having a YouTube and a, uh, and the other source. Be that, yeah. Twitter, be that Twitter, Facebook, whatever. I don't else. think it's bad to have, you can have how much you want, but it's just put your time and effort into one of them. Yeah. And build it up. Cause I remember Two years ago, I used to be like, man, my numbers on Instagram ain't right. And I, and then my Facebook was so personal. You know, I ain't really worried about... I ain't really worried about that because I know that ain't where the majority of my sales and stuff coming from. Right. But at my Twitter, my numbers wasn't right. And everything, like, I didn't have no numbers. I only had numbers on YouTube. Right. But once I started focusing on Instagram and, like, getting shout-outs from the, the bigger... People who were kind of bigger. I think their, Fun, Funny Mike was the one. Yeah, that repost really you in the story or whatever whatever the case may be. And you start getting that to grow. It's like, why not run with whatever, whatever starts to get a buzz. Just run with that. And don't focus on the stuff that you can't do at the time. Yeah. Like, and that go for, you know, when we do How to Be a Rappers and stuff like that. I mean, like, you can only do so much it ain't like you you're not gonna come especially out if, you ain't, if you ain't really got a team man. You, like, yeah you, you, if you, if you got the a majority group, of us don't have a team so that's why it's like focus on that one thing you can do that one social media that you know you do got somebody rocking with you on just work with that don't even worry about you can't have all this stuff popping at the same time no not when you but, first start I mean I, I guess so I, I, because that like I said that's a uh, that's, that's how Instagram went with me was just like try, trying to rock with the YouTube and shit just one day like and, and it wasn't even like me like I, I ain't even gonna say I was just focusing so hard into it like I just I, I was working with it but it wasn't like oh god damn I got, I got more like, like I'm just really fucking hustling into Instagram it's like I would just post something on Instagram every day or whatever the fuck mm -hmm. so by working at it we don't mean like just you know lose sleep and shit like that because by all means like Fucking for real though, like whoever the hell tells y'all like, okay, I'm, I'm all work, I don't sleep. They fucking stupid. Like, 
Like I, I, I just put up a post about sleep. You saying it? Yeah. Drama yeah. boy, I reposted something about drama boy. They you, were just talking about. Look, look, on some real shit. Like you don't. I'm not. That's not saying sleep all fucking day. But you, you are human. We're we're fucking humans. We ain't robots. We need to sleep. I ain't gonna lie. It kind of got. It kind of got me to where I'm at. But at the same well, time, yeah, but shit, it could've, I could have done it the same way. Not Smart. everybody, not everybody's like built the same though. Yeah, like, I mean, some motherfuckers can do that shit and like just, bro, get you like at most if you want to like try to do it with like least sleep, like fucking run, get you about six hours in. Like that's really about all you need, and you'll be fine. Like mm-hmm. my big ass at this point, like shit, fuck it, I'm, I, I will. Go out of my way to try to get my, my solid eight in. But if I do get six, like, sometimes I'll wake up fucking five hours into my damn sleep and be ready to do some shit. Like, I ain't going to be able to go back to sleep. But that's another topic for another, you know, another podcast or whatever. But, shit, we uh we get we get close to the time running out on this one. So, uh, what we're going to do is try to go over to, uh you know, a lot, a lot of the music that dropped this year. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, just try to get your opinion on some of that, like. New albums, albums. Some some of the artists that had to come up. Um, did did you have a favorite album that dropped this year? My did you have a least favorite? My favorite album, mainstream, might have been. Uh, it might have been Nipsey. Might have been Nipsey also. Or maybe Meat Mill. I like right. Meat Mill shit. Um, least favorite. I don't really listen to mainstream like that though. Like I said last night, I listen to people who up and coming, like right. the JD Youngins and people of in that category. Well, say, instead of giving like a least favorite or anything, like what was your, uh, you know, just just all together favorite be that uh, underground mainstream or excuse me, not underground but up and coming mainstream. Uh, yeah, I think that Mick Mill is just kind of took the cake for me. Like, I like that album. Yeah. Shit, that's me. Bit. What you think? Uh, shit. What dropped this year? Um, well, this past year. God damn. Um, because there was something that was like, it dropped right at the end of the year, but, uh, I really been fucking with that Skins project from, uh, X. Like, and I want to say the, uh, the, fuck, I don't, I don't know how to, pronounce the name like the name of the album but it's like the, the question mark one that he dropped mm-hmm. uh, a lot of X shit that he dropped this year and I'm real upset that I didn't fuck with any of his more melodic shit before he passed um, and I, I kick myself every day for that shit like I, I, I really kind of slept on the more melodic shit before he passed but I've been listening to that shit and even with that being said I, I think the shit of like I think we talked last night Gunna and Juice World been some of the most fucking these motherfuckers had yeah. some of the best runs of 2018 period like shit you got an artist you think might have came up had a bigger come up than them Lil Baby Lil Baby right and he started out in 2017 with their run but 2018 he had a major year but um yeah well, I, I think, think Juice might have started in 2017 too uh, for real for real but yeah so that's who that's I really don't listen to mainstream on If you're an upcoming artist, send me your music. Uh, the email will be in the description. I listen yeah. to more. While we on the top of that, uh, one thing that uh, we're going to try to start doing with the podcast is, uh, you know, we want to do a uh, like an artist of the day. If you have a, well, of, a, of the week, you know, since we're going to try to start running this every week. Uh, if you got a video or if you got a, just a song or whatever, um, you know, email us some stuff. We'll drop the uh, email in the description. Um, we're gonna try to, you know, put a spotlight on the artist every mm-hmm. week. You know, at the end of the show. So, you know, if you got a song or something that you think is dope over a drum dummy beat, send that bitch on in, and uh, you know, we'll listen to it. We'll take, you know, we'll, if it's super dope, we'll play that bitch at the end of the show. And there's a lot of y'all, so I mean, we might not be able to get to every damn one of y'all, but. You know, like I said, we're going to try to start for, uh, putting a spotlight on, on it and try to give back to the ones that showed us so much love to give us this beautiful little baby back here. Yes, sir. But, uh, <laughs> shit, just uh, send that in. But with that being said, man, it's been a great start to a new year. We hope to see y'all more. You know, Shamu Drawn Dummy. t Rapper with Drawn Dummy. It's a hey, drop. Drop your comments or whatever, you, whatever else you want us to talk about. 
in the comments and uh we'll get on it and appreciate y'all checking it out and be sure to like share subscribe you know what i'm saying if you ain't already subscribed cut the little notification on it's a little bell thing down there at the corner be sure to do all that y'all take it easy man